Evening VC, Dave here. Uh, sorry for the rerun. Uh, took down the other video. Uh, something in it I didn't want in there. So here we are. I'm going to redo this. Um, it's probably not going to be as good as the first one. Probably a little more tame. Um, record store day, drop one. I was out in California during this drop. Um, and I had initially scheduled our meetup at Amoeba on record store day and because i didn't realize that, that was what was going on and luckily we were able to move it to friday um and most everybody was still able to meet up so it worked out pretty good uh no one wanted to stand in that line it was like eight blocks long at amoeba that next day it was insanity um none of these records are worth that much of your time so and then there's other ways to get a hold of these records, um, Instagram and the like. So anyway, I, I had seen the list prior and there was literally nothing on it. I had any interest in it at all. And then closer to record store day, there was titles. I'm like, what is going on? There's some good stuff coming out here. Um, and I think it had to do with the pressing plants being behind. Uh, maybe they didn't want to announce everything until they knew for sure it was going to be out. Um, so yeah, I got a handful here that I've picked up since I've been back. Uh, two I did order on Record Store Day, one from Permanent on Instagram and one from another store. But um, and we'll get into it here. Uh, first is uh, Vast. Music for People, uh, limited to 2,000 copies on Real Gone Music. Uh, this is a great band that started out in Austin, Texas, um, led by this man, John Crosby. Um, great singer-songwriter, guitarist. Um, he ended up moving out to California later on in his career, put out some good stuff under the name Vast, but then he started doing some old country stuff that was horrendously awful. Um, when this band was touring with Queens of the Stone Age is where it was at. The early stuff, really good rock and band. Um, I mean, they opened for Queens of the Stone Age when they were on their R tour, so, I mean, you, you gotta pull your weight they certainly did it. Um, great gig I saw down in Spartanburg, South of Carolina, Spartan Vegas. Um, also saw these guys in Atlanta um, at Smith's Old Bar. It's uh, in the Virginia Highlands area, um, I believe. And uh, it's an old, big old house. Um, you got to go, when you go in, you got to go up these real steep stairs to get to the, where the stage is. Um, and they played two sets. Um, and one, one acoustic and one electric. So it was, that was a really cool gig and got to meet John Crosby briefly downstairs. He was an asshole. He did not want anything to do with talking to any of his fans and that place was packed. So it was, and it was, it was a bar down there. So I, I don't know. It was probably the most uncool musician I've ever met, but, uh, still a great one. Um, that Smith's old bar place is really cool. Um, it's wild and if you're a band and you gotta load in, um, cause in Rage Against the Machine we play down there and you gotta go to the back and there's this whole lift that takes you up to the upper level of the house to get your shit in, it's crazy. But yeah, vast. Um, yeah, and this, I don't know if I showed this, this is, Real Gone Music did, they did a Horace Tapscott reissue and they did it on green vinyl, completely unnecessary. They did this also on green vinyl. Um, that's what it looks like, the splatter, which is, it sounds all right. It's not, not the best, but, uh, and they put it in this sleeve with the, all these words and it, it's, you know, record cuts the bottom out, which what happens with records. Um, so yeah, that's happy this got put out. I mean, it was only ever put out in 2000 um, on CD. And, you know, you can get the CD for two bucks or you can get this record for 30. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, some other record stores wanted like 44 bucks for it. So still got a good deal on it at, at Lunchbox. Um, he also had this. This was cheap. This was $17.99. Mark Lanigan Band, Here Comes That Weird Chill on 45 RPM. This is my favorite release from Record Store Day. Phenomenal, phenomenal vocalist. One of the best in the business of rock and roll. 
um, you know, of course from Screaming Trees, Queens of the Stone Age, speaking of. Um, this is uh, Methamphetamine Blues, Extras and Oddities, and that song was on uh, Bubblegum, great record. Uh, mandatory record if you're into rock. Every song on this is killer. Um, my favorite release for sure from this drop, and I know John picked this up and loves this record. Um, yeah, highly recommended. This is also, this is a quality pressing, uh, quality cardstock, quality inner sleeve. Um, sounds great at 45 RPM on this splatter, clear stuff. Um, it's nice. So yeah. Mark Lanigan, man. It's amazing this man is still alive. All the heroin he's done. It's uh, awesome to see him still putting out great music. Um, this one was kind of tough to get a hold of, and I was very stoked to see this guy had a copy. I had multiple copies, in fact. Uh, he, he got extras set aside to put on his website. Um... This is O.C.'s The Chapel, live in San Francisco, October 2nd, 2019. I, I saw this tour in Chapel Hill. It was amazing. Uh, there's video up here on my channel somewhere. Um, yeah, double album. Uh, made to look like one of the rubber dubber, I think, uh, bootlegs from back in the day, which is really cool. Um, they take good care of doing their vinyl every time. Um, this is pressed in the Czech Republic. Uh, so it's good pressing, um, also on some kind of clear, crazy splatter. Uh, there's, on side D, there's an etching, you can't really see it. Um, but yeah, really, uh, really nice records. Um, the double drums, the whole deal. Um, love OCs. Um, yeah, the psychedelic. In high intensity band right here. And that one's yeah, it's going for a little bit more now already. Uh, you know how the RSD stuff gets flipped. Um, next is one um, I ordered this. It came and unfortunately they used one of those white mailers. And if you saw this video earlier, I went on a massive rant about said mailers, and for good reason. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is a heavy, heavy, heavy double record, sealed. You've got to use something else other than one of those white regular postal mailers. You just have to. It came with, a, like, a four-inch complete bashed corner, all, I mean, just annihilated. Luckily, Scott had some copies, and I picked one up there, mint copy, um... Okilla presents Timeless Mulatto Estake uh, from February 1st, 2009. This is a reissue, double album. Um, great players on here. Benny Maupin, Azar Lawrence, Phil Ranelin, just to name a few. Um, you know, great vibr uh, vibraphone player and percussionist um, from that Ethiopic series, you know, from back in the day. Um, that's on CD. There's a lot of volumes of that. Um, I think even Alex was talking about those recently. This is uh, fantastic. Um, happy to grab that. Um, next, this came from Permanent, and you know their mailers are hardcore uh, mailers, and so this this arrived perfect in perfect condition. Um, and that's uh, Salah Ragab Prism Music Unit Egypt Strut. Uh, this is uh, on. Uh, Strut and Art Yard, looking forward to spinning this. Um, Cairo Jazz Band, um, who played with Sun Ra. Um, great drummer uh, here, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of extras with this. Um, this is really nicely done, um, as everything is, is from Strut and Art Yard. Uh, so this was a really nice pickup from them that I jumped on. And then last, I picked this up today. This one was really hard to find. Um, and it wasn't that expensive. Um, but uh, it's uh, 
Bela Kuti in the Africa 70, um, open and close, uh, first time issued uh, in a long time, um, and this is the 50th anniversary edition, um, comes with this fake OB, which is completely unnecessary, it's on this crappy red and orange vinyl, or red and yellow, or whatever, it's, again, I just wish it was regular black vinyl, but, um, yeah, I mean, originals on this are insanely priced and usually covered in dirt and God knows what else. So this is nice to have in the Fela collection. That's it for RSD. Again, uh, sorry for the rerun. Peace.